Alright, so let's start with a blacksmith and a farm and also recruit Peregrine Tuk. The camera is a bit slow, but it's fine. We are on the patch 2.22 version 2.0, which was released yesterday. And in this video, we will be playing Rohan and Gondor against six hard uh, random hard armies. Power point wise, we can also pick the heal because in this game we will be only recruiting heroes in power points. Hopefully, that's gonna be enough to win us the game. Let you what do you think about the new design of the Rohan castle? The new farms. Uh, castle is the same. Farms are, I would say, the contrast of the colors is a little bit stronger, right? Yeah, it's more saturated. And check also yeah. the Gondor castle at the bottom left side. Gondor castle is looking also much. You know, the, the wall, especially the walls from Rohan, is also very changed. And also Gondor walls, plus all the structures. So early on, let's, you know, capture those settlements next to our bees and also creep with Pippin, the goblin lay at the bottom right side. I think my ally is doing pretty much the same thing. And once again, we will recruit from the cheapest, that's Paramir, um, you know, Boromir then, and then last but not least, Gandalf. And hopefully, with these three heroes, we will be able to stall the game long enough to unlock every single power point from the Spellbook of Gondor. And my ally does the same with the Rohan heroes from Rohan. And with power points and also the heroes of the Fellowship, we will be hopefully able to beat every single one of these six factions. And also, by the way, uh, the patch 2.22 is increasing the difficulty of the game. So, oh, what happens? I was lagging no, for a single second. Fine. I went to the stop. It's fine. Okay. So basically, it's now much harder than the patch 1.06 was. All right. So who is getting attacked? Uh huh. There's a. Okay, it's Mordor. Okay. Mordor is in the middle of us. So we are. We should be in a good spot. Uh, you know, in the first couple of minutes, especially from the, uh, from the right side. And for the worst case scenario, I can just send my heroes to you, or you can send your heroes to me. Also, Eomer is a bit changed. Gimli is changed, uh, Galeti. Gimli is now huh? much cheaper and also stronger because he will unlock the Slayer ability, you know, which was previously unlocked with level 7, now with what level 5. What do you mean five. cheaper? He's still 2,000. Yeah, he was, he, he cost, two, he norm, yeah, on the patch 1.06, he cost 2,500. Really? Yes. Oh, Legolas is cheaper. Legolas is cheaper and um, Eoma is a bit different now because he will have the... Um, outlaw leadership with level 3, not only with not anymore with level 2, and also his spear throw will deal bonus damage to movement kills. Just like in the films, you know? Uh -huh. Because what we did, we, boost, we boosted overall the amount of money and resources you can get, gain from the scavenger, from the outlaw leadership, from Elma, and you know, the pillage from uh, Lourdes. Because earlier you would get like only 50 resources for killing Ganda, for example, you know? Now it's much more adaptive. Depending on the on the level of the hero you are killing, you will get you know up to uh, 500 resources when you kill Gandalf level 10, for example. Hey, Pippin! Come on, Pippin! Pippin! Okay, we gotta use heal eventually for Pippin. Okay, our first hero is on the field. It's Faramir. My ally is creeping this in the middle, and now we can just get Boromir next. And before Gandalf, I would also like to build a marketplace. Okay, we are also able to get this. Mordor is now coming to us. We should be able to protect with the captain of Gondor. No problemo. And also Pippin. I'm going Legolas. Got Legolas is already on the way. Nice. Yeah. And Legolas has now also um, more armor from the knife fighter. You know, when you use knife fighter, you get additional uh -huh. armor now. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. look, look, horses. Oh, oh Rohirrim. The problem is against Rohan, you know, when you lose the settlements and... You know, or you destroy the enemy settlements, they will be just spamming ends on you all the time, you know? It's pretty frustrating, especially in long terms. When you have no fire, it's hard to deal with them. And also what we did, by the way, we reduced the amount of damage ends are dealing towards heroes. So earlier they would potentially, I mean not potentially, they would like two shot or one shot Faramir with one single attack. Now they will need like two hits. They will still be insanely strong, but not that strong anymore. Okay, we have lots of orcs and also more peasants are coming from the bottom right side. So we have a green Rohan plus Mordor. And now what we will be saving for is the marketplace. My ally is also losing his farms, of course, to the Rohirrim. So we have at least two Rohan openings and I believe at least two Mordor openings, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, 
There are some... We need to get Boromir level 4 or level 5 rather. Very important. We have no heal from the spellbook. And also, we have no well in the base of Gondor. So, we gotta be definitely watching out to not lose our heroes anytime soon. Boromir is surrounded. We have one power point, but we don't need to use it right now. I will fight till the end. Okay, run, Hobbit. Run, 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 run. Uh, Galetti, do you have heal? No, I use it Legolas right now to survive, oh, damn. basically. Okay, so I got to kill back then. There are just too many units for me to defend this area. And the, the spam is real what because what we did... This? With the spam? Yeah, yeah, I, I know. They are spamming like crazy. Because what we did is we increased the amount of... Um, command points for each evil and good faction so also this of course affects the hard army and they will now be able to recruit many more units than they normally would be on the patch 1.06 you know oh and this God. alone this change is is actually changing so much like that makes the uh, hard army now much much harder also in a 1v1 situation okay Legolas should be fine I have heal in like 4 seconds or like 10 seconds it's okay, it's okay. I'm going switching to blades I'm just okay. trying you're level 6 already you should be fine Okay, let's get Grand Harvest first. Um, it was a mistake from me to build this many blacksmiths because we are not good, you know, recruiting any units in this game. The well is... I can heal you if you want to, by the way. It's okay, don't. You have Aragorn, right? I can see. It's fine. So now, what you gotta do is open the gate and close the gate. Open the gate, let some of them inside, and then we can close the gate again, and this way we can get more and more experience um, with the heroes and also unlock more and more power points with the heroes. So, of course, it was kind of expected that we would be losing those out outside settlements. You know, my ally did the same. He lost both the settlements. But as long as there are no end moods, we should be kind of fine, I guess. And also now you will get the chance to see the Grand Harvest animation on the farm. So once you purchase the... Oh my goodness, hold on a second. Let's close the gate. You see now this yellow glow animation on the farm? It's uh, only on the patch uh, 2.22 version 2.0, which, which you, by the way, can also download... From the link in the description down below guys oh my goodness the damage Boromir, aragorn something. is squishier now actually aragorn is squishy now yeah a little bit squishier especially when you don't have the uh, bleed master you know with bleed master he will still become extremely tanky but anduril doesn't give him 100 percent uh, 50 percent anymore i mean he's still the tankiest hero in the game by far so let's open the gate now you know what I would love to do is, before Gandalf, I would actually love to build the, uh, the Stormworker. Just to, you know, make our towers hit like a truck. Even though the Stormworker from Gondor got nerfed on the patch 2.22, now the upgrade for the laser towers is gonna cost you 4,000 instead of 3,000. So it's a bit more... I lost Aragorn in a second, <laughs> Really? <laughs> yeah, he died really fast, unexpectedly. I could have healed when you would have asked, you know? I didn't know, actually, that he's gonna die so fast. The problem is, um, not the problem, but the hard army is having like 150% more damage boost, you know, against anything. So they will deal way more damage than normal medium army or the, you know, easy army would deal. Okay, you have Gimli now. Gimli has, as you can see, a new ability, the Stab on Pride. Units nearby, unit, uh, units nearby will get fear resistance. Ooh, the reason why... Damage. Gimli is tanky though. I mean, Gimli is tanky, but Farami is of course dealing a lot of damage to him. He's level 5, he killed potentially Aragorn. Did you see how he was chasing me? Yes. <laughs> that was not supposed to, to be in like in before versions, right? Yeah. He saw me like low and tried to finish me off. And also, now they should hopefully be able to use the power points a bit more wisely, you know? I mean, they are still not the smartest the AI. Okay, okay. Close the gate, close the gate. Uh, what we did, as you know, I don't know if you know that already, Galetti. Uh, we increased the stun effect. So when you get level 2 with a unit, you would automatically become fear resistant, you know? Now you need to be level 3 at least. Or you need to have a hero around you um, who needs to give you fear resistant. That's why we added also fear resistant to Gimli. Hopefully that's going to make him more playable. And more... That is going to be a, one more reason to recruit him. As he's now more affordable too. Uh, as for heal, by the way, if you need to. Uh, Gimli is quite tanky against Seed. Gimli is quite tanky against uh, archers. So he can tank archers for a long time. I mean, that's not looking good for me either because I don't have that many power points collected yet. 
and not even Gandalf on the field yet. But hopefully with the Grand Harvest, I should be getting more and more resources collected. So now let's boost the gate, uh, boost the wall first, and then the gate last. Okay. I mean, my ally has already. There is Boromir inside your castle. That's not from from you, by the way. Okay, we should be hopefully able to defend this. We need a bit more for the for the reinforced gates. You have Elma, nice. Look, he's chasing Gimli. Look, 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 look. I healed you. I can't kill, but what the fuck is this? Oh my god, oh my goodness. This, the Nazgul is here. Okay, so we gotta build towers. Oh, Gondor! Alright, uh, Paramir, please finish him off. This Nazgul before he destroys the Citadel. Now, look at the white uh, balls now. You know, it's so beautiful. We should be able to kill the Nazgul, right? Yeah, yeah, we should be able to kill the Nazgul. Faramir, please get the last hit. Nice, level 6 unlock, that's good. And also Boromir now, with level um, 6, has the glory of Gondor, which is going to work like an auto leadership from Elma. Okay, we have 3 power points collected. We could go now for the uh, Grey Company summon, which is a ranger summon. Let's use it right off the bat. And kill some units around this side. Get more power points unlocked. And now, what we can do is build two more towers here. Let's destroy this Postan gate for now. And... Okay, let's kill the Rohirrim. And after building these towers, we can demolish this and build a farm there. Now we will just save for Gandalf. Our rangers are doing nothing. So I we won't destroy these farms, by the way. That's like the, la the worst thing that you can do. Don't destroy the farms, because if you do that, there is a high chance for the Rohan to just build end moods. Look how many peasants are in near to your base. Let's see. Okay, Aragorn is level yeah. 7, okay. We can also go for the Elven Wood. No, just I don't that. know, when do you wanna... We can, we can go for this top left castle. Because I already have ants as a summon. Oh really? I mean, you are far ahead then. Because I'm not even anywhere close to that. Um, I would get, I would like to get Gandalf first, you know. I'm still kind of poor. I have still no money. So, I'm sitting on 2,500 for now. But with the marketplace, should be able to get a bit more money. And also, when Boromir gets level six. Okay, we have also Legolas almost level ten. Okay, what is level of Gimli? Level six. Okay. I don't want to destroy this farm. Actually, don't don't destroy the farm. <laughs> That's not good when you destroy it. Oh, Gondor. Okay, getting closer for Gandalf. Need only two more thousand resources, then we should be good to go. Kill the peasants. Oh, I love the tribute Lol. Oh, really? Already? Yes. And by the way, now the siege weapons um, is also a change, are dealing a bit less damage to heroes. They will still, uh, they will still deal the same damage to units. But they will deal a bit less damage to heroes. Jordan is not dealing damage to Trebuchet. But we'll uh, Elma will deal more damage now with this spear throw. You should be able to one-shot it. They're so hard. I have heal and you need, by the way. I don't need it right now. So, as for heal. I mean, your Gimli is fine, your Aragorn is also fine. If also Elma, Trebuchets okay. are fucking tanky now. Yeah, the problem... The Trebuchet, no, no. We didn't change the tankiness of them. Not really, but why the heroes not doing that much damage to All them, the attacks from the Rohan heroes like Elma, Theodin and Elvin is not that high, you know? Oh my goodness. I'm also taking a lot of damage now with... Let's use stun. Nice. Gandalf is on his way. We have also just the power points we need to turn him into the Gandalf Divide. I let you remember when you use... When you would pick Gandalf Divide from the spellbook before Gandalf would join, your wizard plus would be on cooldown, right? Yeah. And that's also not the case anymore, so... Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. So you can basically pick it now and still have with a plus. Come on, for me a little bit more for level 6, come on. Okay. Boromi is taking so much damage from the Haradrims. Holy moly, man. Haradrims are actually hitting very hard. But don't you worry, guys. Kanda of the right is here. Boromi, can you get away, please? Are these your ends? Yeah. Oh. 
Did you hear the sound effect? The new one? From the ants? Come, my friends. The ants yeah. are going to war. Okay. We are healing up. I can also join you very, very soon. The problem is, <laughs> unlike Rohan, which has like a bunch of, you know, heroes, Eome, Eowyn, Theodine, Aragorn, Legolas, Gimli, uh, Gondor has only three and a half heroes with Pippin, you know, counting as half a hero. So, I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming to you. I need power points, man. You killed so much, potentially you are so close for Army of the Dead. I just got Gandalf the White plus the Ranger Summon. I'm so behind still. I'm, uh... I'm, uh, one and a half points away. Yeah, because... You get also, like, a more risky position, you know? On the on the map. Yeah. True. You got attacked all the time. Oh, but there are some trebuchet. I will kill it for you. No problem. Okay, can you finish off this piece, though? I think you should. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. you definitely would when you get Aragorn level 10 there. You see, even Gandalf needs, like, three auto attacks to kill a trebuchet. Auto attacks are not hurting that much too from heroes. Alright, come on now. Okay, with Boromir now. Oh my goodness, the warning arrow deals like. Dude, what is this level from this Faramir? Yeah, he's level 5, that's why. He deals so much damage. And once again, guys, it is about um, the Heart Army dealing 150% more damage, you know? They have the same tankiness, that's why Gandalf is gonna kill him in no time. 150 gold for killing Faramir because he's a, he was level 5. Again, the amount of money you will get from the village, outlaw leadership, glory of Gondor and scavenger from the spellbook of Mordor is adaptive and will be more the more the higher level the enemy heroes are. The, the level doesn't matter for the units, but it matters for the units, uh, for the heroes. Okay, Gimli has been taken down. He was low level, that's why we only got 450. My ally will be able to defeat this Rohan. That's good. Uh, you can buy the castle, right? Yes. Okay. okay. Our base looks protected like crazy. You see also the animation. Yeah, I gotta check my base, check my castle, and see the animation yeah. of the farm in Blacksmith. Yeah, and the uh, wall is glowing a little bit, right? Yeah, wall is changed. And also because you could never tell visually if you would have the, um, you know, Grand Harvest or the Iron Ore before, and you're also your opponent couldn't tell, now both of you can tell, and you also know it's the opening player that Gondor has the Grand Harvest, you know? Okay. Nice. This Rohan is gonna be defeated soon. Look how many peasants does he have in Forge Blades. <laughs> That's so funny. Alright. So Rohan is very hard. Like I would say from all the hard armies in BFME 1, Rohan is really uh, the most annoying one. I wouldn't say the strongest one. I believe the, the, see it. the Isengard is a bit stronger army-wise and also hero-wise, like the hero choice of Saruman and Lourdes. But uh, Rohan is the most annoying one, especially in a, in a 1v7 situation in which they will just spam lots of ends and things. You know, they will spam that all the time. And moods. Okay, kill this, please. Spies of the enemy. Of Gondor. They won't escape. Keep up the attack. Spies of the enemy. Okay, nice. We will protect these lands. We are oh, he revealed my hobbit. We have a Gondor at the bottom right side. So we see many, many trebuchet. I believe the guy in the middle, yeah. The guy in the middle uh, is Gondor. And the other one is Mordor. And I believe the guy at the bottom right side is also Gondor. I am hurt. The enemy is near. Hey, hey, hey. The thing is, when you trample these Haradrims, you know, they act like a pikeman. But there is also Boromir. Oh, Hobbit! Run, Hobbit! Oh, no. Oh, watch your trebuchets. Look at the trebuchets. Where? Oh, my. Yes, yes, yes. I'm blind. Run. Uh, also, what we change, Kaleti, is when you, see, when you summon the eagles now, they will automatically engage on anything what is nearby, you know? Earlier, they would yeah. do nothing until you click on them. Now, they will... Like, not only for the Eagles, but also for the normal units. Like, the auto engage. Like, when you, for example, would be in the enemy castle with your summon Rohirrim, and you would literally stay next to the enemy furnace, they would still not automatically attack the furnace by themselves. Now, the auto engage is a bit improved, you know? Now, they will engage when they are being nearby to the enemy units slash heroes slash structures. Okay, so, nice. 
I want to just kill this siege wars from this guy with the eagles if I can. You have potentially army of the dead, right? Yes, I have. And just use it and break the gate, maybe, with army of the dead. We can go inside and finish him off. That is Kanda of the Grey. Oh, look, he's, some, he's using lightning sword. There is a Nazgul. No place in this war. Let's summon the rangers. Nice. We killed it. We get 375 for killing a Nazgul because of auto leadership. The glory of Gondor. You need to break the gate. Yeah, okay. You are breaking the gate. Yes. Okay, so my ally has two castles. Should be fine. There's lots of money eventually. It is another Faramir. Kill him. Oh, do you feel? Where? Here. I don't see. Who? Gandalf? Yeah, Gandalf and the other heroes. Nice. Good, thank you. Dude, this Haradrims, they are... Oh, Witch King is also here, man. Rangers, I got it. I need your help. Oh, look, 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 look. Look, they have so much. You see the Screech animation now? There's a Screech animation from the Nazgûls and Witch King. Peace. Nice, we kill them. Get 750 for killing the Witch King. I mean, the most expensive heroes like Witch King, Gandalf, and Aragorn, they give the most money when you kill them. For example, killing a Gandalf level 10 would also give you the same money, like killing Witch King, for example, you know? So it's more rewarding for killing those expensive heroes. So I, I need to peel back. They're upgrading everything. They have turrets outside. Yeah. You see, they have also marketplace. Yeah, the, the iron ore and stuff. That is not Orkorn. You summon the elves, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, we can also summon eventually the Rohirrim. And sport the ants. Yeah, let's go. Gondor goes for it, and Rohan will answer. Men of Rohan. Men of Rohan, let's go, let's go. Like, I want to show you guys what I mean. Like, when you would, for example, stay here before with the Rohirrim, just here, you know, without any clicking anything, they would just stay here, do nothing. Now, you know, now they will engage on the units. Once the units are there, they will engage on the structures. You see also this unit, for example, he killed it, and now he's automatically moving out. Look, I, you, I'm, I'm not going to micro them around anymore. They will automatically engage on everything they see. Let's put these heroes next to the well for now. We should be... Hopefully be able to capture this one right after destroying it. Um, as for heal, by the way, if you need it. Uh, you can take this middle one. Yeah, I will take it, yeah. I will take it. When you actually, guys, when you as Gondor by a second castle, um, the Lixir Tower upgrade is going to also apply on the second castle. However, the Numenorian Stormwork and also the, the Reinforced Gate upgrade is not going to apply on the second castle anymore. Right, I'm out. Nice. Also, this okay, is finish this, please. Finish this last building. I'm trying. Oh, because the I thought these are your units. Damn. They're gonna recover. Hopefully, come I'm gonna lose this. my Gandalf here. Trying to finish it. Okay. Ah, oh, but I will. I will lose my. <laughs> it's worth. It's worth. I think. Oh damn. Okay, we defeated him. though, that's good. Imagine if this guy buys now. He might buy actually. I could have healed Gandalf there. What am I doing? Oh, I, I don't know if I can buy it. Yes, units there nearby. I mean, I can buy the Tarragon if you want. I think you need to help me here. Is this your army after that? Yeah. yeah. I was like, oh my goodness. They have so much damage. Their bottom is level 7 too. I need to keep my Faramir alive so I can buy the castle, guys. Come on. Please kill the Pelvic. I gotta also revive Boromir in the meantime. I have no summons ready. Still far away from getting the army after that summon. I haven't killed anything in this game so far. Okay, let's go for the uh, top right one, huh? Yeah, let's go for the top right one, yeah. Top right, then you can buy the cas castle, you know. Maybe build farms first. I'm gonna make camp mood here in this where uh, on the right side of the your new castle. You see this one? Yes, yes. Level three farm. I mean, the yeah. problem is I have only farm right now, so I gotta wait for the heroes. 
But I can I can spot with Faramir. Yeah. Build one well inside that castle. Yeah. I will, I will. At the new farm. Who's this top right? It's Rohan, okay. So I don't know about the top bottom right one. I believe it's Gondor, and looks like the right on the middle is also Gondor. We must be vigilant. Guard this area. Okay. There they hmm. are. What should we do? I can, I can also summon eagles for the worst case scenario if we need them. Alright. So Gandalf and Boromir revive them. Depends also on the on the levels. You can also see that when they are fallen. Hold, hold on a second. Let's not tank it. Alright, nice. We have laser towers, so we should be fine. The fellowship. I mean, for the fellowship, as you can see, that's clickable, but you can purchase that. Uh, for the oh, fellowship. You see Antwood on the right side of your. Uh, you see? Where, 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 where? They're where? going for you. Like on top side of your new castle. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna summon eagles there. Hold on a second. Not just build two trebuchets on the wall, maybe, huh? Yeah, but they have without firestone, they can't hurt the ants. Really? Yeah. The ants are going to war, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, we need to call on the Rohirrim to finish the ant move before more ants are gonna spawn. As you guys know, ants are almost taking zero damage from the towers. And yeah, this guy is gonna spawn more and more ants in the meantime. Gandalf, I need you. Call your shadow fakes and get on the, the on that horse. Okay. Eagle, please finish off this ant. Nice, great. So we killed the ant moot. So, yeah, we need to finish this Rohan then at the top right side. Now my heroes are back in the on the field. Let's go. Gandalf, come on now. Alright, so Gandalf, Farami, and Boromi are ready. The only hero from me level 10 is actually Farami. Huh? He is indeed showing his quality in this game. Let's go. Okay, so... Oh my goodness, there is a Nazgul chasing me. Good, stop it. Gandalf, help Faramir, please, please. Where is Faramir at? Faramir, run. The Eagles are gonna... Okay, we can also summon eventually the Rangers. And hurt the Nazgul, so the... But you see, the, the second you summon them, he will use the Screech. And Gandalf wasn't nearby to actually affect them with fear resistance. Gandalf's leadership also gives you fear resistance. But we will be able to finish him off anyway. Fly, Shadow Facts. Oh, I hear more ants. These are your ants, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, the problem is your... I mean, without AOD, you can't break through this defense, I guess. Oh my goodness, what is killing nah. my farm here? I'm just gonna destroy this part of the wall. I'm gonna build another one on the top side. Just destroy that farm. Which farm? I hear new ants. Yeah. How much money do we have? Eventually a lot. 19,000. I've also EOD summon now. I can I could eventually summon EOD if you want to. We can go and yeah, we can go uh take that Rohan on top. Okay, I'm summoning it right now. Oh he has full towers. I mean not full towers, but lots of towers. Let's go inside. Yeah, I'm breaking the Master. gate. You're attacking! Like also level three structures, acting like a tower, yes, triple stable. <laughs> Level 3. Oh, he was also summoning elves. Okay, I mean, I should... I, I think I didn't have to break the gate because you break the wall anyway, but it's, it's okay. Your end mode has been taken down, though. Oh my goodness, this is actually a crazy defense. From Gondor. Okay, and yeah, we can demolish this now. We don't need that. I mean, again, as Gondor, you have literally only these three heroes, so the money is not a problem. We can eventually build the towers also inside the castle. Boromir is taking so much damage from somewhere. Go, Gandalf, go, 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 go. I want to see Gandalf damage against the farm level 3 now. Oh, okay, my ally is summoning even more ants. Borami, stun them. And also Elaine deal from Aragorn is affecting the units even when they are level 2 now. 
Ja masz, masz, masz. Okay, bottom is. I cannot summon anything right now. I mean, I've almost every power open unlocked as well, but my heroes are not dealing that much damage, unlike Aragorn to structures. Destroy this last farm. I'm trying. I can just stun them with the Cloud Break, I guess. Let's stun them. But they have. They are not stunned. Do they have fear resistance? I think they had fear resistant nearby. <laughs> okay. Nice. Oh. We must be oh. Go I'm gonna build double well here for the sustain. In the front. I mean, Gondor, you know, with like two, three castles, like you will be almost as rich as evil factions with many, many Lamry Mules. Especially because of Grand Harvest, you know, boosting all these farms by 40% each. So the more farms you have, the more, you know, value you will get from it. And you will eventually grow rich. Of, of course, in those kind of games. In a one-on-one -on -one situation, it's not that effective. Nice leap attack there from Gimme. I'm coming. I want to also get my Gandalf level 10, though, even though he's so squishy. He keeps dying all the time. Oh, no, no, no. He's dying in a second. Yeah, look, Boromi is knocking down your... It's Legolas, 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 level 6. You see Legolas? Oh my goodness, I'm gonna kill him. Legolas is destroying everything. He's focusing heroes now, actually. Did yeah. you see this? Level 7 now. Kill him with Gandalf. Kill him. Level, level, level. You see? Don't kill him with end. Don't kill him with end. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. Let me. Oh. Okay. Nice. We got level 9 from it. That's good. You see now, with the end, you will need three hits to kill Legolas, you see? Earlier, you was literally almost one-shotting him, you know? Boromir, the captain of Gondor against Boromir and Gandalf. And he has been slain. Do not pause. Um, do you have yeah. EOD summon? Yeah. Okay, we can also just summon EOD. Uh, yeah. I can call the Rohirrim for you. There is also Aragorn from him. Oh, he's also summoning Rohirrim. Lol. <laughs> oh, he's Elendil. Using Elendil. Hold on a second. We gotta, we gotta blast this. Come on now, come on now, come on now. Okay, nice. Oh my goodness, he's killing my bottom here. Let's call the Rangers. Would be nice if I can get the last hit with, Ara with Gandalf. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop, stop. Oh my goodness, your Aragorn killed him. <laughs> there is Gimli too it. behind us. Oh my goodness. Hold on, hold on. Oh, Boromir has slain Gimli. My Gandalf can literally, it's so unlucky, you know, I can't get level 10. I'm gonna summon the Eagles, and also the same applies for the structures, guys. Look, but the second I'm gonna summon the Eagles now in the enemy castle, boom, they will automatically engage on the structures and on the on the enemy units. Okay, now let's go inside with the units, with the rangers. They will keep doing that all the time. I think that's a huge quality of life change, you know? Because it was, like, not, it was not fun. Like, your eagle would stay on top of the enemy unit and would do nothing, you know? Can you move those uh, Rohirrims from the outside farm so I yeah, can take sure. one more? I'm gonna move them. Kappa. <laughs> I do not fear you. I do not fear you. Do not pause. Okay, Farami, it's time for you to draw the sword, my friend. Eagles are dying to the level 3 structures and also the towers. Easter Light doesn't deal too much damage to the structures, but it's okay. And of course, rangers are also not dealing that much damage. And unlike the elven summon, they've also not the, not the chance to switch to swords. So generally, they would deal now a bit more damage as rangers are the strongest uh, archers in the game. A little bit stronger than the elven warriors. But in you know, in exchange, you have less range. And also, you, have, you are like much more squishy. We must be they may be near. Guard this you buy this, right? Stay quiet. Yeah, I can. Okay. Alright, so we have like we know that this is Mordor in the in the middle, and I guess this at the bottom right side is Rohan in this case. I believe. My EOD is on I mean with double EOD is kinda too easy to be honest, you know, because by the time your EOD is back up, my EOD will no. By the, I mean by the time your EOD is on cooldown, my EOD is gonna be back up. 
<laughs> so funny. The ends are going to war. The ends cost now more command points also. It, the, the, because Rohan has more command points, just like Gondor has. Let's use our blast time. And what do you think also about the, about the zoom changes? You know, we have improved the zoom now for every single map, Galeti. Yeah, I can see. Also for the campaign. Back to the darkness. Okay, I have Eru I have Eru summon <coughs> I EOD summon, I mean. And now summon it. And break through the defense of Rohan. Let's do that. One time, my friends. When I mean, Rohan has even two EOD summons with Aragorn level 10. Come, my friends. The ends are oh, my my Gandalf is almost level 10. I really, I really wanna kill this Gimli with my Gandalf. I don't know if this is gonna be enough though, he's only level two. Can, can can can't even kill him, I think, you know. Okay, right? Nice. Yeah, we got level 10 actually. But he's towering up, he's building many, many towers. So once the EOD is disappearing, let's call the Rohirrim. Do you have TOD? Uh, I have. Level 4? He's, he's on the way, yes. Oh, okay. Could have used the Glorious Charge on the summon row, hit him. Yeah. Focus down the structures only. Kill this end moot. Okay, more ends are coming. The level 3 structures are quite tanky. You wanna build also end moot here? No. Right? I mean, I can. It's not big deal. Can I actually use uh, Visa Plus on the on the tower? I can. I want to see that. I want to see how much damage the Visa Plus from Gandalf deals on the Rohan tower. Never tried before. Oh, not bad actually. With like ten Visa Plus, you can take it down. <laughs> oh, be actually, that's you need to send your ends in first, I guess. You know, to make them tank the towers because our heroes are gonna just take too much damage. Even more ends. This is Cloud Break to stun them all. Okay, so Mordor has so much money because of the settlements, but it's fine. Let's revive this Hobbit. So basically, now my ally had this castle at the top left side way longer than I had my second one, you know? But of course, Gondor should, at the end of the day, still have more resources. Even though Elma is also giving so much additional money uh, to Rohan, you know? Especially for killing enemy units and heroes all the time in this 1v6 video, no, 2v6 game. You will end up killing like thousands and thousands of units and you get money for every single one of these. That is Legolas. Oh, Legolas is using Arrowwind, my heroes. He's level 7. <sighs> Look how tanky he is with level 7. Do you see that with the knife fighter? It just takes like 40% damage only from my... My Gandalf, my Gandalf's Easter Elite and the Warning Arrow from Faramir couldn't kill him. Because he was using... Oh, the Nazgul are coming now. Looks like Mordor doesn't want this Rohan to be defeated. We have well, yes, coming to the well. I can stay with, with Boromir only, but Faramir and Gandalf are badly damaged. What do you think about this Mordor castle design, uh, Galeti? I don't see what we're... Oh. We also couldn't see the Isengard one, you know? Isengard also has now a new design. Yeah, I can see. I mean... Baradur. Is this your Elvin? Yes. Elvin is also a bit stronger now. Elvin would have... Um, is a bit cheaper and also would get the, the disguise ability a bit sooner. Is a blast them. We have uh, four archers inside. With I'm gonna summon the eagles, and hopefully with the eagles we will be able. Yes, even fire arrows right on them. Yeah, look at them. No, that's also something you don't normally see. Heavy armor and also uh, fire arrows. It's very rare. I'm telling you, dude. Like, like, like when you wanna play now a one v one against a hard army on the map Force of Brunen, for example, you pick Isengard against hard army. Isengard, it's really challenging. Like, it's not. Earlier you was like making heroes only and would just win. Now they will spam ballistas on you. They will make Uruks with combinations and also fire arrows. Orc riders, they will literally recruit everything. Oh. Come on, I'll get inside there. Okay, 
Fiorin. Oh no. Fiorin King. Teo, Dennis is dead. Teo. Teo. Teo is dead. Combos. Let's go. No, stop this. Deal zero damage to strikes, by the way. Zero. Am I gonna die here with my horses? And with my heroes, I mean? Gondor is. Gondor goes for it, and Rohan will answer. Master the Rohirrim. I feel right, yeah. I feel. I won't, sorry. Kind of go off to Faramir, let's heal all together. Like that, boom, nice. Okay, also this is gonna be defeated. Okay, nice. So that's the last army, boys, and then we will be victorious. To be honest, it's it was a little bit easier than I was expecting it to be. But of course, you know, you have like double the summons, even though you had no chance of recruiting units in this one. But the powerful summons of the good factions, like especially the army of the dead, I mean, it's just like insanely strong, you know? So you get so much value of that. And then you have two of them, two army of the dead summons. You have Ar three actually with Aragorns also. Like, our points are just too powerful. Even though we nerfed them on the patch 2.22, now they have um, army of the dead, for example, has now less duration. You know, they will be five seconds less on the field. They will move five, uh, you know, movement speed slower. And also, they will have one more cooldown, one more minute cooldown. So, from six minutes, cooldown is increased to seven minutes for both the EOD and the Balrog summon in the patch 2.22. And their duration, their time remaining when you summon them was also lower by 5 seconds. Which doesn't sound too crazy, but 5 seconds is actually quite efficient. And because they have like limited amount of time anyway. Short time duration, you know. They are here for example only for 45 seconds and now they have only 40 seconds. That's how the Mordor base, Mordor castle is looking like. You can see the floors are different. Uh, the texture for the, for the slaughterhouses, for the towers. Everything is definitely different. This is club break. And of course, it's kind of debatable. I know some of you guys enjoy or love the Baradur. Some of you guys don't like it. But in the future uploads, you hopefully will manage that it's going to be optional. And you will hopefully get the chance to switch it on and off. If you want to use some HD textures and the custom textures from this patch. Or if you want to just use the patch with the balance changes. And you want to still keep using the original textures from uh, Battle for Middle of One. Hopefully, we will manage to make it optional for you guys. That is no Orkhorn. We have Elves here and the Rangers here. And just for the claim, you know, for the, for the ultimates, I mean, let's go for the EOD. Top break. Elma. Oh, oh, Gandalf. Gandalf, 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 don't die. He looks so serious on this picture. We have Atelas with Aragon, yes. But you healed your own Elma there because I was not close enough. Erwin from Legolas. <laughs> I want to use the War of Power one more time. By the blood of Gondor. By the blood of Gondor. And GG. Valeti, thanks for the carry, man. You actually carried it so hard. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, it was not that hard because... Uh... I don't know, six... Uh, you know what would be maybe more interesting? Trying to, to win two versus six on outpost map. Yeah, we can do that also maybe for, for the next video. And you want to see that, to, you know, us two against six hard armies in the outpost map, which means you have only three singular spots, uh, which is, of course, the hardest one. Let us know in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, guys. Hopefully, I will see you next time. Until then, you know, keep enjoying the patch 2.22.